What's going on? I guess the, uh, the last one, man, was it a big one for you? I mean, the time away, and all, you know, the missed fights. I mean, was that result a big one for you? It was a big one to get back in there, but uh, to be quite honest, that was, that was probably one of my easiest fights, uh, especially in the UFC. Um, it was one that I expected to win, and if I wouldn't have won that one, I would have had to reevaluate where I'm going with this whole thing. Um, you know, the kid was a, a highly touted prospect. Um, he was undefeated when he got to the UFC, and you see that with a lot of these guys. They're, uh, you know, they, they lay under the radar, and then they get to the UFC. They're worth a, a big buck, but once they get exposed, uh, they kind of got to be protected, or they're, they're not going to last long. And uh, I'm not going that route. I'm here to stay. You know, I, I went the hard route my whole career, um, did it on the local level, did it on the LFA level, became a world champ, and then now I'm here to do it in the UFC. You're super confident in that fight, but I wonder, like, during the time away when you're having to withdraw from fights and you're not getting to compete, I mean, was that, like, was that a difficult time for you at all to think, like, what's, what's going on here? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, I, I knew I would get back to fighting. Um, I knew I would get back in there, but it was a time to really, uh, you know, get healthy. Uh, I had not been healthy pretty much my whole career. Um, people don't know that because I'm not going into a fight saying, hey, you know, I've been – you know, fighting through this injury for years, but it was like, uh, I, at first I had to get to the UFC. That was like, you know, fight through it, get to the UFC, and then uh, in the UFC I get to get to the point where I'm going to stick around in the UFC. And then, uh, you know, after that knockout in Mexico, it was a good time to uh, sit back, uh, get my injuries fixed, and uh, that ended up being a lot more lengthy of a process than I had anticipated. I thought it was going to be a quick scope, six, eight weeks, I was going to be good. But then uh, they did the whole um, ligament repair. And uh, so that, that set me on the sideline. And uh, I really just had to reevaluate, um, you know, my priorities. And uh, one, focus on getting healthy. And two, uh, focus on building the amateur program at Fortis MMA. I put a lot of, uh, you know, time and effort into these guys. They, they, they got a lot of potential. We have, like, uh, the best student base, the, the people that come into the facility are just incredible and they, they know that they're amongst great athletes and they want to be on that level. So, um, you know, I got, got these students, they're constantly coming to me after class asking me, uh, you know, what can I do better? So that makes me have to focus on being a better coach as well. Um, I have to be more in, in tune with uh, my students, my classes and uh, taking them to fights, traveling. Uh, it's a lot, and I'm a father. I, I get my son on weekends, so I got to juggle that as well. If I'm traveling, um, you know, I have to give him the time that he deserves. So, uh, yeah, just juggling all that was was quite enough to keep my hands full while I was uh, rehabbing and getting back into it. But now I'm juggling all that and fighting, and I feel like it's made me a better fighter and person in general. I feel like. Uh, you know, I just, just from helping these guys, one, I got to go back to the basics constantly. So it's ingraining the basics in my mind. Two, I got to practice what I preach. And three, you know, just uh, giving back. Giving back is, is part of martial arts, and uh, it makes me a more complete mixed martial artist. That's also, it, it may be kind of cliched or whatever, but I mean, do you feel like this is kind of a new chapter for you? I mean, obviously, you've been doing this for a long time, your experience, but now that you're finally healthy, you've had this time to kind of reevaluate everything. Does this feel like kind of a new chapter for you? Yeah, definitely. This is, uh, you know, the starting of a new era in my uh, career. I feel like I'm, I'm finally coming into my own, um, you know, in life, uh, physically, I'm peaking in all areas. Uh, I'm just enjoying life and enjoying, uh, you know, doing what I do. I'm living a dream, man. Like, it doesn't get much better than this. I just got to, one, focus on, you know, getting the job done again and again, being consistent, and uh, enjoying it while I'm here. Nice. What do you make of Julian as an opponent, right? A guy, that's, he's had some ups and downs through his career, but he's kind of having some, some positive results as of late. What, what do you make of him as an opponent? Julian's a tough guy, man. Uh, he's, he's had a long career, uh, a lot of wins, a lot of good wins. Um, you know, he's been in and out of the UFC I think he's, uh, as, as far as like a person, I think he's kind of a douche. Um, you know, he was uh, calling me out, kind of getting my DMs, kind of just like poking. And it was like, you know, we're, we're adults here. Um, you know, when he brought me up in the, the press fight, con in the post fight conference, that was time. I mean, okay, that, that's the time to do it. And, uh, you know, 
he uh, he asked for this, and uh, I'm not the dude, man. So this the the goal here obviously is victory, uh, but is it? To make a statement, is it to settle a score? You know, is it to prove something to the world? Is it to prove something to Julian that he shouldn't have poked the no, bear? No, man, the this, is, this is this is this uh, is to further my career. Um, you know, he wanted to to pull me out of my game and get me emotional and all that. And nah, man, where where I'm from, you talk shit, you get hit. There's no no uh, red lights about it. It's it's you know it's on. So uh, if he would have said that to my face, it would have been a whole nother whole nother ball game. But he's all running his mouth online, trying to hype this fight up. So I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. Last thing for me, what kind of fight do you think we see? I mean, is this something where you can go out and, you know, do something spectacular and quick? Or do you feel like you're going to have to grind out a, you know, a tough fight with a tough dude? What, what, what kind of fight do you think we see? Honestly, I feel like it could go either way. Um, you know, I'm all for doing something spectacular. Uh, I've done it before. I could do it again. It's all about just going in there, enjoying the moment, living in the moment, and uh, just kind of flowing. Because uh, when, when stuff like that happens, it's like you're not even thinking. You're just thinking kill. You know, you're just thinking I, about the objective. I got to take this guy out. And uh, when I'm in that moment, really cool things happen. If I get ahead of myself and I start thinking, uh, okay, I need, a, I need a finish or I need a, you know, uh, just I need to win. No, you just got to be in there. It's a fight, man. You just got to be in the moment and react, act, react, and uh, that's when good things happen. Thank you, gentlemen.